The mountains and the streams are ours, they sing, and they have flooded the city like a torrential river. They come from all over the area, worried that four new gold mining concessions the government has sold will destroy their livelihoods. This gold is laced with poisons. Some of the gold ore contains arsenic, and to extract the gold, miners have to use cyanide, both deadly substances to people and animals. We will suffer a catastrophe. We won't have water, we'll have dust, cyanide and arsenic. This means no tourism, no farming, no flocks, no beekeeping, no economy. They're talking about creating 1,300 jobs, but will destroy 35,000. We're not convinced because we see so much pressure to get this project off the ground. We suspect there's some murky business behind it. El Dorado has carried out extensive environmental impact studies and says it would store cyanide safely, but local groups don't trust them. They have filed petitions in Greek courts to stop all mining work until they unveil studies of their own. El Dorado Gold says it has provable reserves of more than 12 million ounces of gold in northern Greece, worth over $20 billion on today's market. It says 30% of that money will go directly or indirectly to the Greek taxpayers. But many of those taxpayers here today say that the cost to the environment of mining that gold is beyond reckoning. Many also suspect that El Dorado won't confine itself to its four current operations. Yorgos Triandafilidis is a metallurgist at the University of Thessaloniki with experience of mining operations. All of northern Greece is a massive gold deposit with about one gram per ton. To retrieve it, you have to pulverize the rock and treat it with cyanide. What they're doing here now will rapidly spread to all of northern Greece, and that frightens people. This area suffers from higher than usual unemployment, officially at 27%, because its heavy industry has all but disappeared. Yet these people don't think big business is on their side. They prefer to weather the hardship and rebuild their economy on their own. John Saropoulos, Al Jazeera, in Greece's northern port city of Thessaloniki.